Hi, my name is Mayara, I am a brand and web designer and today's video is the second part of a little experiment of mine using ChatGPT to create a brand. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to go back and check it out because you will be amazed by the things this tool can come up with. And last week, ChatGPT acted as our client, so I asked it a few questions that I usually ask my clients and now we have a lot of information to work with. But I want to go one step forward in today's video and I want to ask ChatGPT design-related questions to help me create this brand identity. So just a quick recap, our brand is called Rustic Rituals and it sells handmade soaps and skincare products to people who are between the ages of 25 and 45 years old and are interested in natural and organic skincare products. Rustic Rituals tagline is nature's healing touch. Before we start using ChatGPT, I want to quickly put together a mood board that represents the vision that I have for this brand because I do have an idea of what it could look like. And then we are going to start asking it questions about color palettes, fonts, symbols, and stuff like that. A mood board is always the first step during a brand identity process and it has to be approved by the client before we jump into the actual design. It's created based on all the information we gather during our first meeting and it's just a way to validate the creative direction. These images usually belong to other designers and creators and none of them are used in the actual brand we create. So this is our mood board and I like to use Figma to create my mood boards and then I move over to Adobe Illustrator for the actual design. I have my iPad here and I wrote down some of the questions that I want to ask ChatGPT and we are going to follow its lead completely. So let's open our chat and get started. Okay, so here we are again and I have here my very first question. So let me just copy and we're gonna start with color palettes just because that's usually my second step. You know, after the mood board, I try to come up with a few color palettes just to have them there because I create a logo in black and white and then I just add the color as I go to see what feels better, like what matches the, the brand. But so yeah, I like to have a few just to keep there on the side and kind of already know where I'm going with the logo, if that makes sense. So this is my question. Like I explained uh, my brand again, because this is a brand new chat, so it, it doesn't have the history, you know, of the brand. And I, I think I want to add more things here. I would like a few options of color palettes for my brand. Um, give me... I was going to say please, but you don't have to say please. <laughs> Give me five. Um, I'm going to ask for five codes of colors for each of the palettes. Okay, I like that. And I want to see like these colors. I, I like to have three to five colors to work with. Usually, you know, the logo is just one or two colors, but I like to give the brand flexibility. So when they have their own website and social media channels, they have more colors to work with that are still, you know, inside their brand visuals. So I have here an Illustrator file open and then let's check what these colors are all about. Okay, that's not like too bad. Let's see this color palette. I actually like this color palette. Like this is really interesting. It's something we could work with. And let's see the other ones, natural greens. Um, I don't love these two here. Maybe some shades, like I don't love this one, but I do like this and this and I like this last one, but I would switch, like, I would just have this one here, maybe. So, yeah, like, the color palettes are actually not bad, especially the, the first and the last one that it gave us, but these two, like, I'm not completely um, happy with them, but that's okay, like, it's nice, I like it. Let's move on to our next question which is all about fonts. And I think I'm gonna have to be like specific here about what I I want for the, and so here the thing is, I'm thinking about a logo type. So just rustic rituals, like not too many elements, maybe a symbol, 
for a variation of the logo, but not for the primary logo. So for the logo of the same brand. Just to be a... Um, I'm gonna make this more specific. Make it one serif. Mm, Playfair display is not bad. I feel like it's kind of generic, but it's a nice font. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's kind of predictable. Like, I'm gonna show you guys the, the font, but mm, I'm not sure. Like, those would be my. My choices, but we are just following ChatGPT's lead here. And let me write the, the tagline here. Okay, so for the tagline, it said Montserrat. Of course, like this is everybody's favorite font. <laughs> and I think the tagline would be in all caps like this. So that's why, but not light for sure, because when you shrink it, you know, it's going to kind of disappear. So I think regular is fine, either regular or medium. And play fair display, right? So play fair display. Pairing is pretty okay, but logos are not just that. Like this is not done. Not only we have to add colors, but we also have to kind of customize it to make it more unique, exclusive. So I don't know if like ChatGPT can suggest it. I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, yeah, it's not really saying anything here. Like it's not, um, maybe this uh, fifth option, but definitely not the sixth one. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So here's the thing I would like rituals to be like kind of kind of italic so something like that maybe but we have to do more here and what did it say here mm, or in you to create a more cohesive and unique logo so it's saying to kind of like connect the r and u that's one option let's try to create something quickly like i don't want to waste too much time on this uh logo let's just see if i have any other question i okay so yeah i do want to ask it about symbols okay it's gonna give me more than one symbol but we're gonna go with the first one and my final question is about the logo itself like the ideal logo for So yeah, it understood that it's kind of like the variations are variations of that first logo because that's usually how I work. There is one that's more horizontal, another one that's kind of vertical and one that's usually round. But yeah, let's try to work with what we have here. I'm going to try to customize this a little bit. And then I think we're done with ChatGPT. I will show you like the final version of this logo and we're going to add it to a couple of mock-ups just to see you know what it would look like in real life so let's jump into this i'm going to stop uh, my camera because i cannot be looking at myself when i'm designing and and yeah see you in a sec
Okay, I'm back. And so this is like, my idea here was to have this kind of flowy visual on the word rituals, you know, because rustic is kind of like, it's kind of a tough uh, word, but then you have rituals that kind of is an ongoing thing. So I wanted to kind of bring that into our, our logo somehow. And then I started to play with this, like this can resemble um, like the mountains or also just like some branches. I started to, to try and illustrate something here so we can use on our symbol. But yeah, like this would be what I would go for here. Again, I'm trying not to spend hours on this. So this is like a 15 minute work. Of course, this is not what I would deliver to this client, but I think, you know, from what we got from ChatGPT, this is okay. Now I just want to test some colors. So let's just make it bigger and I want to see the best. So I have here my mood board. You see that it kind of gave us some of the colors that I have on my mood board. That's really nice. But now I want to test it and see like how they look. So I think I would go for something, not this. I really like this shade here. Yeah, I don't like the blue, so I don't think I would go with this one at all. I don't think I would go with the green one just because of the shades of green that are there. So that leaves us to these two color palettes. So finally, this one I think is my favorite out of the ones that ChatGPT gave us. So I think the logo would be something like this. Uh, maybe I'm going to create like just one more kind of around the symbol here like okay i think we can't really add these to mock-ups and see what they will look like and we can kind of judge if chat gpt you know gave us good tips to create this brand identity or not so basically this is what my process usually looks like mood board color palette font pairings and then of course i don't try just one font i try like 10 fonts till i find the right one and then we start you know with the real logo design from that, we add the color palette. We try to create one or two variations. And then I add them to mock-ups just for the client to be able to visualize their brand, you know, in a very realistic way. So yeah, now we're gonna go to Photoshop. I will download a couple of mock-ups and then I will put everything here on the screen for you to judge if ChatGPT was a good lead designer. <laughs> for rustic rituals and honestly not so bad like chat gpt did okay um i think it's really helpful if you have no idea like where to start or if you're in a creative block but without someone to ask the right questions not just about design but you know the whole strategy for the brand like we did on that last video and to execute the work i don't think the tool itself would do much so I think this is one lesson that we can learn from today's video. And I have to admit that I am enjoying these AI tools so much. I really want to create more content about it. So if this is a topic that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
And of course, I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this entire process. This was a very different type of video, but I do want to make more videos just designing and chatting. So, you know, leave your thoughts and suggestions and feedback on the comments. And as you know, we have new videos every Thursday. So I will see you next week. Okay, I had to stop like everything I was doing because my friend texted me like, wake up, we're getting a Lavender Haze music video. So I had to go and check out um, Taylor Swift's Instagram. We're getting a new video. So now uh, let's go back to, to what we were doing. <laughs>